guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Thomas, and Happy New Year. 2019 was definitely a pretty rough and tumultuous year for me, and we're gonna get into that in today's video. But I hope you guys had a really good 2019. I know, I feel like we all were going through it in 2019. So today, I'm gonna sit down and chit chat with you guys about my 2019, what's been going on, what I'm looking forward to in the new year, and just chat. Like, I feel like I've been going through some things, and you guys are never really in the loop of what's going on in the world of Thomas Halbert because I've been very close off since, quite honestly, since 2018. So we're just gonna chat, we're gonna vibe. I need some makeup on because I look like a dirty white boy and I'm getting sick and tired of it. Literally like the dirtiest person right now and I hate it. I think it's my hair. I need a haircut so bad. Follow me on all my social medias. Follow me on my Twitch. Follow me on my Instagram. Follow me on my Twitter and join my Discord. Okay. Get them things off me. So I guess the first thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is where I've been this past year. Like why have I not been really posting? Why I took so many breaks this past year? And just like what is going on with Thomas? Because I don't think I was really talking to you guys this past year. And I think, I think it was because there was so much drama around me and around my existence on social media that I just felt kind of weird about being kind of candid online, which is weird because like, when you look at my old content back in like 2019 or 2018, I was so much more myself and like, I wasn't afraid to speak my mind and say certain things and like, just be myself. Like I just wasn't afraid to be Thomas Halbert. By the way, I'm using the Dose of Colors Concealer in the shade 07. That changed a lot this past year. Like in 2019, I, tried to be someone I wasn't. I tried to pretend I was a certain way. I tried to fit in a mold, in a box. I tried to appease so many people. I, I just tried so hard. <laughs> I'm trying so hard. I tried so hard to be what everyone wanted me to be. I blame a lot of it on the whole cancel culture because holy fuck did cancel culture, cancel culture like literally scare me shitless. I scared a lot of influencers to kind of be themselves on the platform and I kind of cowered away like I had a drama drama surrounding my cat and I've never really seen so many people up in arms over someone needing help financially and I think it's because I am an influencer and I've been well off in the past. I just felt like every action that I made required a reaction out of people and required people to like overanalyze it and like just do too much and it made me like kind of cower away and not even want to be on social media or be like an influencer for that matter this past year my channel did not grow at all like just gonna be as blunt as possible if anything my channel has seen negative growth which is alarming for a youtuber and it's so confusing because my views haven't been the worst i mean if you look at a channel my size and the views that i get it's pretty average it's pretty decent if you ask me i didn't lose brand deals i didn't lose anything but i did not grow as an influencer none of my platforms grew except for my twitter <sighs> i just didn't feel motivated in creating for you guys and doing anything on my channel and just like being myself i just didn't feel like i just didn't want it i didn't have the desire for it because I didn't really feel like it was gonna go anywhere because there was no growth in my in my channel, there was no views. Every time I upload, even to this day, even every time I upload, I lose anywhere from 500 to 1,000 subscribers. And it just, it just discourages me. But, you know, I definitely had like an epiphany over the last week, I wanna say, like while I've been gone since my boyfriend video. I lost my passion and what I, I lost sight of what I was doing YouTube for to begin with, which was to since the beginning, I didn't push record on this camera or the camera that I had before or any camera for that matter to teach you anything. I turned on this camera to entertain you and to make you smile and to make you excited for an upload or to give you a place to escape and to like nothing makes me happier than to know that there's people that are excited to see me upload because they're excited to laugh, they're excited to hear what I have to say, they're excited about my content and what I have to create and the like just the entertainment of my my video. I really feel like I've taken it for granted and I really feel like I have been a little bit ungrateful this past year. I've been like, oh, I'm not getting any views. I'm not doing this, I'm not doing that. 
my videos aren't going anywhere, I'm, I'm not getting any subscribers, so fuck this, fuck that. But I wasn't creating. I wasn't doing what made me happy, which was entertain you guys. I just kind of lost sight of who I was and what I was doing this for, and just everything was just kind of getting lost. And I think I found it again. So this year, I'm coming back stronger than ever with new management, new fire under my ass, with everything. Just back and ready to get shit done. Interesting and different content that I used to make is coming back. Like I have so many ideas and I'm not gonna be afraid to do it like I used to be. Like I used to be so afraid to try something different because I was worried that I wasn't gonna get views and in return I wasn't gonna get any more sponsorships or people were gonna lose interest or people were gonna make fun of me because oh he got canceled and he's not getting views anymore. Ha 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 that's so funny. He 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 But no. Girl, fuck that. I'm doing whatever the fuck I want. I don't care who watches. I don't care who doesn't watch. I don't care who agrees with it, who doesn't agree with it. I feel like I let people walk all over me for so long this past year. I just had so many people walk all over me and I'm not doing it anymore. So I am coming out with a vlog channel with my boyfriend. It's already up. If you want to go check it out, you can subscribe. Just the link is down below, where I'm just going to be posting whatever I want there with my boyfriend. Like we're literally going to be doing mukbangs, we're gonna be doing um, together that we can think of. And then we're gonna do videos on our own. Like I'm gonna be doing cooking videos over there. So I'm gonna take this ColourPop blush stick in the shade Under Pressure, and I'm just gonna like warm it up on the back of my hand. Basically just take my beauty sponge. And just, Period. It's not like so pretty and youthful. Like again, you can use Co Thomas in all caps. To save money off of ColourPop. You need to get your life together, sister. But yeah, we're coming for 2020, and we're gonna fuck shit up. Ugh, I love this stuff so much. You guys are wondering what this is. It's the Patrick Ta Major Glow Highlighter. I freaking love this stuff. So how was everyone's new year? I feel like, I don't know, I just feel really good about the new year. I feel positive, I feel grateful, I feel excited. I don't feel depressed, I don't feel animosity, I don't feel anger, I don't feel frustration. I just feel blessed, grateful, excited. I have so many projects I'm working on, so many, so much, so many video ideas, so many just amazing things coming to this channel, to other channels. You know, I'm working on a gaming channel for my Twitch stuff. I've really been loving this kind of minimal makeup look. I was thinking about filming a video for it, but I feel like it's kind of boring. I might do it for like my Instagram or something, but I literally just spot conceal and just do like, a, I basically use concealer as my foundation. Obviously this isn't the right match. I was trying this today for the first time and I didn't think I was gonna oxidize the target it was, but I usually just use um, this ColourPop, just the pretty fresh concealer. It's like I literally use these shades right here for my whole face because i noticed that like i really don't need all that foundation and this is just so much more quicker i can spot conceal real fast i'm gonna do my brows off camera real fast then we're gonna get into my eyeshadow and then we're gonna get into the la shit. i don't know you guys i just feel like 2020 is definitely my year it's year of vision and just a year of growth and just expansion and everything but with that, I feel like there's change that needs to happen. And as you guys know, I moved to Austin, Texas <sighs> about three, three-ish months ago, almost four months ago. And I moved here for financial reasons, for a fresh start, for a fresh breath of fresh air, for a whole array of reasons, to be honest. Um, I just felt like I needed new scenery, just kind of like, I needed a break from LA. I just felt like, LA, I just felt like I couldn't get ahead in LA as far as financials go, as far as mental health goes, it's just as far as everything, like my anxiety was really bad when I was over there. Like to be completely a little bit too TMI with you guys, my digestive health was really bad over there because my anxiety was so bad. And I just felt like I needed to be out of the LA environment to kind of figure out what those triggers were, what was kind of fucking with me in the head a little bit. Because your environment does affect your mood a lot. Your environment does affect you. And I feel like LA just wasn't the environment for someone going through mental health problems. But I just felt like being out of LA was definitely important for me. 
I, I live in this beautiful two-story home in a really beautiful neighborhood and I pay one-fourth what I was paying in LA. So I was, I've really been able to kind of get caught up with my bills. I've been able to get caught up credit debt that I had with hospital debt that I had back in 20, I don't know if you guys remember, but back in 2018 I had, um, I don't wanna talk about it, but I had like a lot of eating disorder issues in 2018 and I was in and out of the ER, in and out of the doctor's office, and about in and out of the hospital in general. Those bills rack up very fast, and of course, most of them went to collections. And I'm just gonna be super candid with you guys. I think I accumulated maybe $15,000 in, in hospital debt over that stuff. And that's just not easy to pay off. Like, that's just not a walk in the park. And you can say influencers are rich all day and all night, but mama, I ain't rich. I, I I probably have the same salary as like some of you watching. Um, I'm no Bretman Rock, I'm no James Charles, I'm no any of that. Like, people t tend to forget that I'm not a cookie cutter beauty guru, I'm not a cookie cutter influencer period. And I don't sit right with a lot of brands at all. Like do you see me getting sponsorships by some like Garnier or L'Oreal or Maybelline or any of these huge brands? No, you don't see that because I'm they're not like, oh my God, like let, let's go get Thomas real fast for this campaign because we, you know, no. I talk about, I think I talked about sperm cells on Twitter the other day. Of course I'm not brand friendly. So of course I don't make, you know, and if I don't get a million views per video, I'm not getting 20, 30, I'm not getting paid 20, $30,000 per video. Like a lot of these influencers. I don't get help with my CPM or any of that stuff like a lot of these influencers. Influencers don't help me. I don't get help at all. No one helps me. Tell me what tags I should use or what I should be doing for my channel. No one helps me. So I do this on my own and because of that, I don't get paid a lot of money from creating and doing this stuff. I get paid an amount to survive, but I don't get paid to like pay off $15,000 worth of debt. You know, I don't get paid to pay for be able to pay for a $10,000 surgery that my cat needed. So people tend to not realize that because they get clouded by all these numbers that these big influencers make, but they and they they put that on me. Coming to Texas and being able to get caught to get back caught up on everything. I'm not saying that I fully paid off the $15,000 debt. We're still working on that, honey. We're trying to get this credit score in the 700s this year. I'm working on it and I'm working on fixing everything. And you know, this past month, I got a email from Fullscreen, which used to be my management back in 2018. I basically, I dropped my management and they reached back out to me in December, end of November, beginning of December. And they said, hey, we'd love to work with you again. I thought about it and I said, you know what? I think it's time for me to take this stuff seriously again. I feel like everyone misses me. I feel like I miss me. I feel like I miss when I was, you know what, I'm gonna do something crazy. I'm gonna take a Q-tip. I'm just gonna like use that as a brush. It's a work in progress. Things are slowly but surely kind of falling back into place. And because of this, I feel like I might have to go back to LA. But I, I told myself only if I know for a fact that I can afford it. And I'm going back with an accountant, with a business manager, someone that manages my funds and my finances that tells me that this is what I can afford, this is what I can't afford. Going into LA responsible so because and, and the reason why i say this is because and the reason why i even mentioned this is because people feel like it's any of their business what my finances are because of everything and of course people are going to give their opinions or whatever but and they're like why are you moving back why do you need to move back and it's just like it's my job you know it's my fucking job and i'm not upset about it you know i did talk a lot of shit about la and i still feel the same way but I'm in love, I'm in a healthy relationship, I have really good friends over there, so I'm not scared to be back in LA. Do I feel like LA is gonna be my forever place? No. Do I feel like LA is still a healthy environment for people with mental health issues? No. It's time that 2020 I take this, you guys, this, this channel, these future channels that I'm working on with Carlos and my gaming channel, and all these other projects that I'm working on behind the scenes that I take them seriously because this is my life. And I was sitting down, I'm like, do I really want to be sitting behind a desk? Do I really want to be complacent with my life? Do I really want to be miserable? Do I want to... And I told myself when I was 12 years old that I am not going to be doing a job that I hate. I'm not going to be stuck working a nine to five. I don't care if I'm living on the streets homeless. 
I am not going to be unhappy with the job that I'm, I'm doing. I'm not going to be like my parents. I'm not going to be stuck in this capitalist losing streak that America has built. I'm just not going to be stuck. I, I refuse to be stuck in my life. I don't know. How do you guys feel about it? I'm definitely not going to let views affect me anymore. I feel like I need to prove to the universe, prove to myself that I'm even deserving of views, to be honest. Like, if I'm gonna post content that is half-assed, why should I expect anything, honestly? If this video doesn't get that many views, I don't care. I'm just gonna try harder next time, you know? And I think the next video that I post on my channel is gonna be really interesting, and I'm really proud of it. So I've been kind of digging the no eyelash look, mascara, no lashes look. I don't know you guys, I know this video wasn't really that entertaining or really that funny, I just thought I would sit down and talk to you guys about stuff, kind of just touch base with you. I really feel like I haven't talked to you about anything. I feel like I've been so away from you and I'm sorry and that's definitely gonna change this year. We're definitely going into the new year with a fresh mindset. I love you guys so much, I appreciate you guys so much more than you realize and I hope you guys are excited for the content this year. I'm definitely going to be working hard for you guys, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I can't wait to see my next video. Go follow me on TikTok, go follow me on Twitch, on all my social media, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys!